And moving on now, the Ukrainian administration claims that Russia's military has continued fierce assaults on the eastern town of Advitka. Now, the town's officials said that Saturday saw shelling so fierce that emergency crews were unable to recover the dead from wrecked buildings. This was the fifth straight day of assaults on the town. A top Ukrainian commander said clashes further north had significantly worsened in recent days. The head of Advitka's military administration said the town has seen bouts of shooting, artillery, multiple rocket launches and mortars. He added that all rescue operations, however, had been halted, despite reports of people believed to be trapped under rubble. Further, on Monday morning, Ukraine's Air Force claimed that Russia launched five missiles and 12 kamikaze drones in an overnight attack. Officials also reported artillery and airstrikes. The Air Force said it shot down two of the missiles and downed 11 drones. It added that the missiles targeted northern and eastern regions, while the drones were launched in several directions, with a particular focus on western Ukraine. The governor of the eastern region of Poltava said three civilians had been hospitalized and several homes were damaged by missile fragments. Kiev has also reported Russian artillery shelling and airstrikes in the Zaporizhia region. The governor said the strikes damaged several residential buildings and infrastructure and injured at least one woman. And in eastern Ukraine, shelling in the Russian-controlled city of Donetsk left at least one woman critically injured with shrapnel wounds. Now, this comes at a time when Vladimir Putin is set to meet Chinese President Xi Jinping this week, ahead of the president's meet. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov met his Chinese counterpart Wang Yi in Beijing on Monday. Apart from discussing the ongoing Israel-Hamas war, the two ministers held bilateral talks on efforts to resolve the conflict in Ukraine through political and diplomatic methods.